Hi, Les. Uh, I spent a few minutes to figure out the harmony, the low harmony, uh, Billy Bragg's part on Hobo's Lullaby. And it turns out it's pretty uncomplicated. And I thought if you could hear that, you could get that in your head and tune out the main melody. Uh, it's real simple. It's basically uh, the second and the fourth line, as you had noticed, and the, the, the melody that Bragg is singing is basically D's and a G, which are the same chords that are in that line. So on the second line, it goes like this. Which is D's and then a G back to the D. It's an octave lower than this. If you, tune, if you dropped your low E string to drop D, that would be the D that you would be singing, and I think that would be simple for you. And then on the fourth line, where it kind of closes the call and response, it's all Ds, and then the last two notes are C and B. So it's da 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 no da 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 So let me see if I can sing it for you. I'll sing it with this recording and then I'll maybe if I can sing it without it. The sun towns drift slowly by. Can't you hear the steel rails humming? That's the hobo's lullaby. There's your part. Now, let's see if I can do it without the music. Let the towns drift slowly by. And then, um, that's the hobo's lullaby. So if you can sing those lines uh, and tune out the main melody lines, uh, you'll have it. It's that simple. And I'll, I'll send you uh, the link to this recording of it, which is uh, where Billy Bragg is pretty clear to hear. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, certainly just let me know. Take it easy.